So, could you just put your hands together, please, and welcome John McDonnell. <laughs> You've had lots of speeches, and it's getting really hot in here for the right reason. Um, welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming along. As everyone said, we're in the midst of our policy review now. Can I say from the Treasury team, I'll cheer you up. We're also doing a review of the way the banks treat SMEs. <laughs> and what we're trying to do is make sure there's basic levels of fairness in the way banks treat SMEs in the future. And of course, we're engaging in the banks in that discussion with the FCA, and also we'll be going on to the Financial Ombudsman as well, because the number of cases that are now being thrown at us, where, to be frank, SMEs have been the, in some instances, to be frank, discriminated against, but not treated particularly effectively uh, and efficiently. And we want to try and see whether or not we can bring forward some form of additional code of conduct in the way that Bank Street SMEs, particularly those who are looking for longer term investments, when to be frank, their securities may not be um, solid initially, but need a bit of a step up to get onto the next stage of development. And in that way, we think we can create the high skilled, high paid jobs that, that we need for our economy. Because we keep saying it, the, our economic growth is based upon the, the dynamism of small and medium small medium sized enterprises like your own. They're the ones that often produce the services and the goods that others then can profit from, particularly as they develop them linked up, often many of you with educational establishments as well. So again, I just want to echo, thanks for all that you're doing. Labour is going to prove its credentials to you in, in relation to SMEs over this coming period. The most important thing though, we want you to engage with us in the discussion of our new ideas and how we go forward. Every time we develop a policy, we want it rigorously tested on the basis of your practical experience. We believe that there's been a breakdown in the line of communication from the shop floor, from the shops, the businesses, all the way up to government. And that's a breakdown that particularly this government has engendered. When we go back into government, we want to make sure you're having a say, not just in the development of our policies, but their implementation as well. So thanks for coming to <laughs> Thanks for coming tonight. It will be a bigger room next time we do it, but it just shows the in, in, it just shows you really the excitement that there is about the development of the policies under our new administration. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you.